Hi, it's Katrina. From galaxies smashing into each other to reindeer cyclones and the toughest creature on Earth, here are 10 of nature's most mysterious things. Number 10. Colliding Galaxies Thanks to gravity, the Milky Way galaxy will someday either collide with or at least sideswipe its neighbor Andromeda. The galactic merger, projected to occur around 4 billion years from now, will cause stars to move along new trajectories. Thankfully, they're unlikely to smash into each other due to the vast distance between them, and our solar system will probably remain unharmed by the event, in case you were worried. According to a 2018 study, Andromeda devoured M32P, a large sibling galaxy of the Milky Way roughly 2 billion years ago. An extremely compact satellite galaxy of our spiral-shaped neighbor, called M32, is thought to be the long-dead galaxy's corpse. Yikes! How's that for a visual? Researchers assert that the impending Andromeda-Milky Way collision will be much bigger, but they admittedly have a lot to learn about galactic mergers. An ongoing collision, photographed by the Hubble telescope, is helping them better understand the phenomenon. German astronomer William Herschel discovered the merger called NGC 6052 in 1784. It's happening 230 million light years away in the Hercules constellation. Herschel classified NGC 6052 as an irregularly shaped galaxy, but scientists later realized that it's two galaxies becoming one, hence its chaotic shape. The merging process is gradual, but eventually a single, stable galaxy will form, and the final product may not resemble either of the two original components. Number 9. Reindeer Cyclone While I know you've heard of hurricanes and cyclones where massive winds rotate round and round, did you know that there are reindeer cyclones too? This is real, and they used to be a real threat to Viking hunters in the past. This phenomenon is a defensive strategy that reindeer use to confuse predators, making it difficult for the perceived threat, human or otherwise, to effectively target a single animal. Both wild and captive reindeer practice this behavior. A scene in the 2019 PBS documentary Wild Way of the Vikings shows a massive herd of reindeer encircling a confused hunter, along with aerial footage of the swirling mass called a reindeer cyclone and the bewildered Viking in the eye of the storm. How are you supposed to get out of that without getting trampled? The show is about Vikings and what nature was like around the year 1000. Obviously, this is an actor playing a Viking, but the camera captures the real reindeer running in circles creating this cyclone or storm. Vikings hunted many things and were very resourceful, making whatever use they could of their surroundings, but reindeer were especially important to the seafaring warriors, who used every part of the animal, including their meat, bones, hides, antlers, you name it. Number 8. Cannibalistic Bunker Ants In 2013, Polish scientists discovered a colony of up to a million wood ants that had been trapped in an abandoned nuclear bunker for years, with no food source other than their dead nest mates. There were also no signs of reproduction taking place, including no queens, larvae, or ant cocoons. Yet when the researchers returned to the site two years later, the population, which consisted only of worker ants, had somehow grown. A study published later that year concluded that the ants fell into the bunker from the nesting colony above through a ventilation pipe and could not exit the same way they got in because they were unable to walk across the ceiling to reach the pipe. Worker ants don't usually start a separate colony, but all things considered, the trapped ants had no choice but to carry on with their lives. In hopes of giving them an escape route, the research team positioned a wooden beam between the floor and the pipe entrance. They returned again in 2017 and found that their vertical boardwalk had worked. The colony had almost completely vanished from the bunker, leaving behind piles of their dead mates. Upon taking a closer look, the scientists noticed that the corpses were riddled with bites and holes, confirming their hypothesis that the ants had survived by eating the remains of deceased colony members. While cannibalism is not unheard of among ants, it is also not a regular practice. The displaced colony's ability to thrive in a bunker with no heat, light, or typical food sources demonstrates the resilience that these insects are known for. And now for the grasshopper blizzard. But first, big shout out to Crispin Topper, love you too, and Jonathan Reese. Thanks both of you. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and join the Origins Explained family. Number seven. 
grasshopper blizzard. Last July, tens of thousands of grasshoppers invaded Las Vegas for several days in a swarm so dense it could be seen on weather radar. They crowded the strip and were stacking up at the entrances to casinos. These were migrating pallid-winged grasshoppers, and the invasion came after a particularly wet winter and spring in Nevada, which saw twice as much rainfall as usual. So the grasshoppers got excited and decided to migrate in larger numbers. Increased serotonin secretions among the dense population of well-fed grasshoppers triggered them to collectively take flight. While migrating grasshoppers usually fly low enough to avoid radar detection, they sometimes migrate northward at altitudes of up to 1,000 feet. Weather radar picked up the swarm that stormed Las Vegas, which looked like storm clouds at first glance. Swarming events like this are unusual, but not unheard of. In 1988, masses of the insects laid siege to Arizona, covering the street in a two-inch thick layer. We have clear records from the 60s of it happening, and I've seen it at least four or five times in my 30-plus years," said Jeff Knight, state entomologist with the Nevada Department of Agriculture. To anyone who had never experienced one, the seemingly apocalyptic grasshopper blizzard came as a shock, as stunned onlookers posted photos and videos of the swarm blanketing the city. But these insects are harmless to humans. They don't carry any diseases, Knight stated. They don't bite. They're not even one of the species that we consider a problem. They probably won't cause much damage in a yard. It would be pointless to try controlling the grasshopper population with pesticides during a swarming event of this magnitude anyway, according to Knight. Thankfully, their visits tend to only last several weeks at most. Number 6. Earth's Most Inaccessible Point There is a place on our planet that sits in closer proximity to astronauts in space than to any humans on Earth. Point Nemo is the world's most remote location. In other words, the furthest point from land, giving a literal meaning to the term the middle of nowhere. Officially called the Oceanic Pole of Inaccessibility, it's surrounded by over 1,000 miles of ocean in all directions. It's located within a triangle of the three nearest land masses, Ducey Island of the Pitcairn Archipelago to the north, Motonui of the Easter Island chain to the northeast, and Maher Island off the coast of Antarctica to the south. Now that's remote. Point Nemo is so far away from civilization, it was discovered using a computer. Survey engineer Hervolje Lucatella located in 1992. The closest people to Point Nemo at any given time are usually the astronauts at the International Space Station, which hovers 258 miles above Earth. It's likely that no humans have ever passed through it. Point Nemo is also described as the least biologically active region of the ocean. It's located within a massive rotating current called the South Pacific Gyre, which blocks nutrient-rich waters from entering, thus making it impossible for life forms beyond bacteria and small crabs to thrive there. Number 5. Earliest Known Walking Animal Around 550 million years ago, during the Ediacaran period, a segmented millipede-like worm called Yelingia speciformis died along the muddy ocean floor. Its remains and trail became fossilized, and they are the earliest known evidence of an animal walking along the Earth's surface. Discovered in China's Yangtze Gorges in the Yiling district, along with 34 other fossils belonging to the same species, Yilingia was made up of about 50 symmetrical segments and measured up to 4 inches long and 1 inch wide. It left long trails of up to 23 inches. Long trails for it, I mean. Researchers believe it may have been related to segmented worms called annelids or tiny vertebrates called arthropods. The creature shows bilateral symmetry, meaning its left and right sides were identical. Bilateral symmetry is a trait most likely shared by all animals, including humans, which evolved to make ground movement possible, probably sometime during the period in which Yilingia lived. Bilateral animals, and particularly humans, are movers and shakers on Earth, study co-author Xu Hai Chao of the Virginia Tech College of Science said in a statement. Their ability to shape the face of the planet is ultimately tied to the origin of animal mobility. We can now thank this worm for that, I guess. Number 4. Mexico's Hidden Beach Located at the mouth of Banderas Bay among the Marietta Islands, roughly 22 nautical miles west of Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, is an island with a gaping hole in its surface containing a stunning beach called Playa del Amor, more commonly known as the Hidden Beach. Atlas Obscura describes it as like something out of a fantasy novel, a wide sandy cavern with the blue waters of the Pacific rushing in. The beach itself, along with several other caves and rock formations on the island, was created by a test bomb. Because the Marietta Islands are uninhabited, the Mexican government used them for weapons and artillery testing beginning in the early 1900s. 
the islands were redesignated as a national park in 2005, and while the decades of man-made damage done to them is still evident, nature has taken over again. Concealed from the outside world, the beach is only accessible through a 79-foot tunnel that connects it to the Pacific Ocean, through which visitors can access Playa del Amor by swimming or kayaking. That sounds awesome! Number 3. Bismuth Bismuth, element 83 on the periodic table, is a crystalline white metal with various uses, including in cosmetics, alloys, fire extinguishers, and ammunition, and as the main ingredient in Pepto-Bismol. This brittle material is a post-transition metal, meaning it shares some characteristics with transition metals but is softer, conducts more poorly, has unusually low thermal and electric conductivity, and has a lower melting point. Because its outer edges develop more quickly than the inner material, it forms a unique stair-step pattern, giving it the appearance of interlocking rainbow squares. Bismuth is unique for its less than straightforward forms. It occurs in at least eight different solid phases and undergoes various phase transitions under increasing temperature and pressure conditions. In 2017, scientists discovered that bismuth retains a structural memory of its liquid state under certain conditions. This causes the metal's magnetic properties to change from diamagnetic, or repelling when solid, to ferromagnetic, or being attracted to a magnetic field in liquid form. In a study, researchers from the Carnegie Institution for Science heated bismuth to 1800 degrees Fahrenheit and subjected it to pressures between 14,000 and 24,000 times greater than normal atmospheric pressure, bringing it to a liquid state. Then they slowly cooled it back into a solid and observed that the bismuth remembered the ferromagnetic properties of its liquid state. The high-pressure liquid becomes more structurally disordered when the heat is applied, taking on what we call a deep liquid state, certain structural characteristics of which remain even when the bismuth is cooled back to a solid, explained researcher Guyoyan Shen. This is the first time such an effect has been seen in an elemental metal. Scientists still have a lot to learn, including how solid bismuth can act as a ferromagnet and how the metal stores its structural memory. Number 2 a microorganism that can survive in space. Tardigrades, also called moss piglets and water bears, are aquatic eight-legged creatures that reach a maximum length of one millimeter. There are over 1,000 species, and most live on moss or at the bottoms of lakes where they feed on bacteria and plants. Some tardigrades can endure some really extreme conditions. Scientists have found them living in environments like hot springs and underneath Himalayan ice. Even more impressively, they can tolerate temperatures as low as minus 328 degrees Fahrenheit and over 300 degrees Fahrenheit. They can also withstand pressures in excess of 6,000 times that of the atmosphere, as well as thousands of times more radiation than what constitutes a fatal dose for a human. European researchers proved in 2007 that tardigrades can even survive in space when they expose dehydrated specimens to such conditions for 10 days. Upon being rehydrated, a shocking 68% of them, which were protected from the radiation, survived, while several of the unprotected specimens also survived and reproduced successfully. It's most likely the toughest animal ever. Scientists believe the tardigrades are resilient because they respond to environmental stressors by entering a near-death-like dehydrated state, curling up into a ball called a ton and reducing its metabolic activity to almost nothing. This is possible thanks to a special protective sugar called trehalose, which suspends the creature's cells. A tardigrade can survive for decades as a ton, that's T-U-N, returning to life once it hits the water. They've even been brought back to life from a 100-year-old museum sample of tree moss, although their chances of survival reduce the longer they remain in a dehydrated state. Number 1. Pando Pando, or the Trembling Giant, is a grove of 47,000 quaking aspen trees in Utah, all stemming from a single root system, thus constituting a single organism. The trees, which are genetically identical and reproduce asexually through a shared single root system, have been growing for at least 80,000 years. Pando spans 107 acres and weighs 6,615 tons. But a 2018 study found that its future is in jeopardy. Aerial images show that in the last three to four decades, gaps began appearing between the trees, whose crowns were once touching. This means that as trees die, new ones are failing to replace them. 
there are no young or middle-aged trees at all, according to lead study author and ecologist Paul Rogers of Utah State University, who said that the grove consists almost entirely of very elderly senior citizens. Mule deer and cattle are eating the saplings at an alarming rate, courtesy of a U.S. Forest Service policy that allows them to graze there for two weeks annually. The area also lacks apex predators, which once kept the mule deer population in check. Moreover, mule deer seem to be making their way over the protective fencing surrounding the grove. But the forest can be saved using common sense measures, like better fencing, if the people with the authority to implement these changes decide to do so. Thanks for watching! Would you like to learn more about nature's most mysterious phenomena? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you are new here. We'd love to have you! See you next time!